Hello friends, it's time for art. Today we are going to do an art project based on the art of one of my favorite artists, Piet Mondrian. Piet Mondrian is a Dutch painter and he worked with geometrical shapes and with the primary colors. Do you remember I posted a picture earlier this week where I made waffles and they were the primary colors and I asked you to guess what the primary colors were. Here they are. We've got blue, yellow, red, and then we've got black that we need to use today. So today what we're going to do is we're going to draw some of these shapes. I said a big word. I said geometrical shapes, but what I really mean is squares and rectangles. How do I know which one is a square and which one is a rectangle? Think about it for a minute. You know you have a square if all the sides are the same size. What about a rectangle? Think about it. If there are two short sides and two long sides, then you know we have a rectangle. So there are two different ways you can do this project, mom and dad. You can either use a ruler and a black marker and let your child, like mine, here's mine, let your child make their own lines. Or you can make lines on the paper for them and then give them the markers. So the idea is you're going to make a whole bunch of squares and rectangles like I did here, and then you're gonna color them in. But you can only use these colors, red, blue, yellow, and some black. So those are our, ah, runaway markers. Those are our primary colors. Can you say that? Primary colors. Justice, can you say that? Primary colors. Primary colors. They are our primary colors because they are the most important colors because these are the colors we use to make new colors. Here's, here's something else to think about. Justice, you can start making your black lines. If you mix yellow and red, what color do you get? Think about it. Did you say orange? Because orange is the right answer. What about if we remove this red and we do yellow and blue? Think about it. That's right. The answer is green. Good for you. What about blue and red? Oh, here comes Mr. Yellow. No, yellow. We're not including you right now. Red and blue. Think about it. Red and blue make purple. Let's have a little bit of color mixing. So that's fun. So see how Justice is holding her ruler. Justice, can you show us how you make a black, uh, black line? We're going to watch Justice. She's going to put the ruler down on the paper. She's going to hold the ruler with one hand. And she's going to make a line right next to it. Look at that. That is a tricky motion. Justice, can you show us again? At, at first, I need to find one of those I can get. So she holds the ruler down and makes a line. Good job. Holds the ruler down and... makes a line that's tricky is that tricky justice mm -hmm. it's tricky do you have to hold the ruler tight or loose i have to hold it tight to stay still that's how i get the lines like mom's right so if you want nice straight lines you have to hold that ruler nice and tight to the paper show us justice Nice. And again, mom and dad, if your student is having a hard time using a ruler and a marker, that's totally understandable. It depends on their age and their fine motor skill and their fine motor strength. 
So if they're having a hard time and they're getting frustrated and they don't want to do the black lines, please just do the black lines for them and then they can just color it in. When you're done with your Mondrian piece, we would really love to see it. It's one of our favorite projects. I'd love to see how yours turns out. Good luck with this and have fun. Say goodbye, Justice. Bye.